What is going on guys, DBG here and today we are going to be going over the new moments cards in NBA 2K22 my team. So before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, you upload more, more content here than anywhere else for my team game mode. And yeah, I was, let's see if I can get the top board here, basically um, what I had planned on doing was checking to see whether there are any of them in agendas. I don't think there are. As far as I'm aware, there are no moments. Maybe there are moments rewards, but let's see what we got here. That's not the greatest um, ascension board ever. Okay, so season agendas. Obviously, none of these for the new moments cards. Let's check in terms of pack market packs. Prime time. Okay, so all of these guys, so all four of these guys are in primetime packs. So it's Moz Turner, Moz Bridges, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Jalen Green. I wish maybe they put three of them in packs and then given us like a Ruby, either Locker Code or Agenda, but you know what we got? At least we got the Duarte Locker Code last week. It is what it is. So anyway, now let's take a look at these cards right here. So the four cards are Jalen Green, Dinwiddie, Moss Bridges and Moss Turner. And one good thing about these guys here is that these guys are in packs for two days, 23 hours. So when the new packs come out tomorrow, these guys are going to be in these primetime packs. And I kind of like the way 2K are giving it a lot more moments cards. And then you're seeing them going to be in the new batch of primetime packs. That might make a few more people buy primetimes. So 2K have done a good job so far this year at moments. I can't lie. Um, so where is this? Sort by all players, sort by date. Like I genuinely think 2K have done a an overall good job with moments cards because if you look here by date, we've got four here. Then we got sorry, well it was a new season. Oh, okay. Okay, we got basically we've got them almost every day. Since we got our first one, we've got them almost every single day. So what player here was this? My team database. Okay, I think this is a new tab. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Ruby Jalen Green. 22 golds, no saf or no amethyst badges, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, base 95. Why did it change his release? Oh no. Yeah, why didn't they just give him the release he had on this card? Why would they choose why why why? Like, this is not a bad release, don't get me wrong, but still, it's not 22. They changed his upper as well, what? Why didn't they give him base 22, upper 6? This was so chicken. Why did they change the 95, upper 22? That's weird, but he gets quick dribble style now, and I don't think he got quick dribble style on this one. No, he gets quick dribble style. Kobe escape. Hard and the back is okay. So, I mean, he's definitely better. He's definitely still better than his um, Sapphire card. But, I mean, I'm disappointed in the release change. I'm happy that he's got the quick dribble style, though. That's a positive. Still a 6 6'2 guard. If you're a Houston Rockets fan, don't get me wrong. He's good. Like, he's got all these good gold badges, gold sniper, gold chef. Can't really play much defense. But if you're a Houston Rockets fan, he's fine. You got Dinwiddie. So Dinwiddie, a 6'6 point guard. So he is tied with Ron Harper as the tallest point guard in the game. Only 73 lateral, so you really can't put him on ball. But he's got bronze level to bottle, silver sniper, gold green machine. He's got 88 draw foul, 86 ball handle. Good passing accuracy, vision, and passing IQ. He's got base 77 on normal. I need a check. Is that any good? So we need to check right here, is base 77 any good? Because I'm not quite sure that that's a good release because it has been pretty bad in previous years. So I'm gonna check it out right now because it's the release he's had. So he is currently playing on the Wizards. Why is this team Kyrie instead of team Kevin Durant? I don't get it. Like, did, Kyrie, did Kevin Durant not play in the All-Star game or something? Like, why is this team Kyrie? Am I wrong in saying team Kyrie has never been a thing? 
Okay, Dimwitty. Let's check out his... I mean, it's... No, that's cool. That's, that's cool. It's kind of slow, but it's not that bad. It's not unusably slow. It's not fast, but it's not unusably slow either. I'm pleasantly surprised with that release. I can't lie. I thought that it was going to be absolutely shocking. But just in general, his stats leave a lot to be desired in the defensive end. He's not much of a dunker. His speed's okay. He doesn't get quick for his step. I mean, he gets shifty. Decent behind the back. He's got a Wade combo. He's not terrible. And he's got the three hot zones. He's not terrible. He's not great, though. But again, if you are a big Dinwiddie fan, he's fine. That's basically what these cards are. If you're a fan of the players, they're fine. Miles Bridges, 86 three ball, 85 speed, 85 acceleration. 83 lateral, 95 driving dunk. Got some good shooting badges. He's pretty chicken as well. Um, 6669 wingspan. Gold interceptor, gold hustler, gold chase down artist. He's a 79 ball handle. 86, that's the same release, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same release. Base dribble style. I think they're the same dribbling. I want to compare. I want to compare Moz Bridges to the free Moz Bridges. So he is like plus 10 speed. Way up in three ball. Plus 23 lateral. Plus 10 driving dunk. They're not even on the same stratosphere. This card's so much better. I thought maybe... I That... I'm, or not as Ruby Moss Bridge is way worse than I remember him being. He is way, way worse than I remember him being. So, um, yeah. Like not a not a terrible card. I mean, if you pick up this guy, and again, if you are a big Miles Bridges fan, he's good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, we've gotten so many promo cards, and we get so many like, ridiculously good cards that a lot of moments cards aren't as effective as they used to be in previous years. But, I mean, he's still pretty good. Like, I would be very, very happy using this guy in my team. I think he's a more than solid small forward. He does a job, and he's not a bad card. Then Moss Turner. This is the guy I'm looking forward to. Like, Moss Turner could be one of the best centers in the game. Like, he really could. Just the way we know about Moss Turner. 6'11", long wingspan. He's got... He can get all the post badges if needed. Half catch two corner specialist. 73 lateral is a bit low. He's at 92 block, good post hook, good post fadeaway, good standing dunk, decent rebounding. I want to compare him to Embiid. I honestly want to compare him to Joel Embiid. So, him versus Embiid. Way more gold badges, two less half badges. Stats wise, Embiid's plus 20, but 34 of them are in passing vision. So, you've got a way better block on Turner. Joel Embiid, one inch taller, one inch longer wingspan. Um, in terms of animations. Base 71, base 47, they are quite similar. I'm just saying he's very, very good shooting, Turner. So, stats-wise, you've got a much better standing... You've got a much better driving dunk in Embiid. you got much better lateral and a little bit better speed. And better vertical. Rebound is basically the same. So, badges-wise, rebound chaser. You've got bronze and non-upgradable, as far as I'm aware, rebound chaser in Embiid. You get it on gold on Miles Turner. Half rim protector. Tireless Fender Gold Hoff does not matter for a center. Um, you only get post spin technician on gold instead of half. But you do get catch and shoot corner specialist on half. I mean, I think I might take Miles Turner over and beat. Am I crazy to say Miles Turner might be the best center in my team? Like, he might be the, the best. Like, he's he's way, quite a bit faster than the Rafe. He might be the best popper in my team. Like Dwight, he shoots way better than Dwight. Block shots way better than Embiid. And he's just that, that tiny bit better. He's up there. He's in the conversation. So like, I'm telling you guys, Maul Turner is unbelievable. Like the cards. Today, these aren't bad. Like these are not bad at all, these four. Like we're looking here at a Quite solid Ruby card that's probably not going to get too much use. But if you're a fan of Jalen Green, he's not bad at all. You've got a Spencer Dimwitty, who's a very, very nice card. you got a Miles Bridges as well, who is a really, really nice card in-game. And then you got a Miles Turner, who's arguably the best center. I don't think I'm going to gas it too much by saying he is definitely the best center. But you can argue that. You really can. He's incredible. He's an absolutely incredible, incredible player. 
So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.